hello everyone welcome back to my channel let me get everything going got my live chat going okay so guys i did come on yesterday and i did share um my products that i did for coco rosa but i have an update for you um i'm gonna do this video again just so that it can be like a shorter version because we crafted yesterday and that video ended up being like an hour or more so i definitely want to make this a shorter video this is uh featuring coco rosa's dyes um these are the ones that i picked up i'm going to share with you the dyes uh what i created and then if you check out the other video there is actually a tutorial and like a craft with me on there on a few things okay so let's go ahead and get started so i did create these embellishment books um let me go ahead and go over the dies first and then I can show you like everything that I made. Okay. So the update is my code. Okay. They gave me a code of Pucci 25. The one that I said previously was Pucci 20. Hey, Tracy boo. Happy Thursday. So you get an, uh, 25% off instead of 20. Okay. So my code is Pucci 25. I did update it in that other video. But and just in case any of you guys were having any issues checking out or whatnot, um, I wanted to do this video to, again, make it a shorter version and to update you on the new code, okay? So my name, Pucci, and the number 2525. You get 25% off whatever you order from there. And below, I will link all these dies, okay? So this first die that I'm going to show you guys is like a award ribbon type of die. You get all these pieces here. It's like a stitched like a, I guess you would say like a star-like die. Hey, Connie. Yay, girl. I've been missing you. So you get this piece. You get this piece, which is like a scallop circle with the stitching as well. I love the stitching detail. This is one of my favorite dies from the collaboration. And then this one. And then I love that you get two of these. Two of the same ones. They're stitched, the flags. And then you get this bottom one. So you guys can use this die not only for what it's made for, but so many other things. Hi, Shelly. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Um, not only for what it's made for, but other things. Like you can easily layer these up and make some really bomb embellishments. I, I'm in love with this one right here. It's so cute. Okay. And the stitching detail is just so bomb. So these are really inexpensive. I want to say this die was like $3. All these dies equal up to 30 bucks. Okay. They're super cheap and they're actually probably going to be less because... Coco Rosa puts a lot of their dyes on sale. Okay, so some of these might be even less. So this is the award ribbon. One of the examples. I did some stitching on the flags. Hi, Samantha. Where you been, girl? And then um, I added some thread, some gold thread right here. And I used, like, the excess from when I was, like, clipping these. I'm so crazy. Like, I, got, I don't like to waste anything. But you can see the stitching details, the pretty paper. And I did use the carousel collection for this. Um, all these projects okay so there's that die hey natalie i'm just going to show you guys all the dies and then i'll show you guys all the projects again if you've seen this before i'm sorry but again i wanted to do an updated video with a new code and you know to make a, like a shorter version all right this die right here is really cute i'm gonna have everything listed below guys all right the code and everything so you guys don't forget this one really right here is really cute. I call this like a frame die because it kind of like it's like a frame. You know what I mean? So it has this banner here and then all these little details, this ornate detail, really cute. And so we did a lot. I did a live yesterday and we did craft one of these. OK, so you can see that that die cut is here framing all this goodness. So we also I did a tutorial on how to create these uh, double color two color i don't know what you want to call it rosettes okay and i think it came out really really cute i'm really happy with it and i just slapped that rosette on my top of my um the cover of my embellishment book so there's that die and i'll show you guys inside the book and all that good stuff all right the next die So all these are super cheap, guys. Okay, 30 bucks will get you all of these. And maybe even less because, like I said, some of the stuff is probably on sale. I'm pretty sure that they are because yesterday when I was linking them, I saw that they were even less than what they were when I chose them. So this next die here is like, I don't even know what they call it, but I will call it a library pocket. 
And are you okay? Hold on, guys. So this has like this really pretty edge. Okay, it's got like some faux stitching here. And then it's got the little detail of the hearts. So you get this piece and then also this piece, which you can fold and you can make a pocket. Okay. And it's a really nice size. So I did a lot of things with this. I'll show you in a second what I did with those. I want to move on to the last die. I think it's the last die. Am I missing one? So there's a total of one, two, three, four dies. No, there's five dies. A total of five dies and they equal up to $30 or less. Okay. And then with my code, it'll probably be even less than that because you get an extra 25% off. All right, guys. So if anyone orders all these dies, let me know what the total is. Next die that we have. Is this one here? I'm missing that envelope die. What did I do with it? There it goes. All right. This next die is this little carousel one. Hey, Cheryl. Sorry, guys. I know some of you have seen this already. I just wanted to do an updated version so it can be shorter. And to let you guys know that they changed my code to Poochie25 so you get a bigger discount. Just in case any of you guys have a problem checking out. But again, if you guys... Order these dies. Let me know how much it comes up to with a discount. I'm curious to see what it would be. So this one was the first one that I chose. And that's what made me get all these other dies. I thought that they would go really well together. And that I could play with carousel to get with it. You know? So that's why I use carousel theme. So it's this little carousel here. And then you also get this stitched layering piece. Look at how pretty that is. Hey, Lala. Look at how pretty it is. It's got a little hard detail. Hey, Anastasia. It's got the little stitching. And then it comes with this little tiny uh, unicorn, I guess. Really adorable. But I didn't use that one. I actually used, hey, Alicia, this one here. Okay, this is a retired uh, punch. And so I didn't want to use that baby one. I want to use my big one or else I probably would have never got to use my punch. Hey, Elaine. So there's that die. And then there's one more die that I want to show you. And then I will show you guys all my projects in detail. Okay. I put a lot of work into these projects. Like y'all don't know the struggle was real. Okay. This is the last die that I wanted to show you guys. And this makes an envelope. Okay. It has all these intricate pieces here. To be honest with you guys, this did, this part right here did not cut well for me. Um, but honestly, I do I don't like that this stuff. I don't want this stuff to be poked out. It looks way better with everything intact right here, and then you can still see the detail. And I'll show you what I mean. And this one actually, you, you can make a glueless. You don't have to glue it together. This holds really well. It has these little slits right here, and these little things that go in. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right. So those are all the dies. Let me show you guys my tag, my envelope flip. So this is that envelope die. So pretty, guys. I hate that the top doesn't cut that well. But, like, as you can see, you see it cut, like, on the top. But everything else is still intact. Okay? You can see that. But I love the way that that looks with it intact, to be honest. Um, I should have never started to poke it out. But what I mean by it's glueless is that it has these slits here, right? So it can open like this. This is your die cut. And then you just take these pieces. Come on, I'm going to mess it up. And you just stick them in there. And they are nice and intact. You can put your goodies in here. So I punched a hole in each of my envelopes. I reinforced it with some glitter paper. And I embellished it with a bow. These are those alley bows that I showed you guys, okay? Using the carousel theme, I just stuck each of those bows, a different bow on each one. Well, some of them are the same. 
But you see, like, I like how it looks intact, honestly. See, so this one is like, I ran two pieces of paper. Because, guys, you know I'm a lazy crafter. Like, I want to, I wish that I can cut 10 pieces of cardstock in once. Because I hate die cutting. And so I ran two pieces of paper with that die. And the second one, it didn't cut, but it did leave that impression. And I actually like that look better than the original one okay so i just put this on a ring and i tie some seam binding i put like a little bow because you know we bow hose over here and then i made this beautiful dangle i love the way my dangle came out put a little bow there there's some stars and then there's some glass beads um these are actually some charms from michael's in the kit section and these i got from hobby lobby for clearance they're gorgeous they're glass beads they're gorgeous 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 and then i put a little charm there so that makes my envelope flip so i'm gonna probably put like little stickers or little gems or whatever in here because um i feel like you don't have to put too much in there so there's that that's my envelope flip all right so here's my mini embellishment book this is my first embellishment book I ever made. I did this by myself. I just like, I don't know what this measures by, but I just did um, a couple pieces of cardstock. I used that really thin paper from the carousel collection that they sell. Um, I actually got this from Monty. So guys, she is, hey Beth, she is the polka dot pine cone on Instagram and YouTube, okay? I'm gonna link her below. You guys hit her up and see if she has any of this paper. I backed, I just glued this, taped it with my double-sided tape um, on some chipboard. And it works perfect, okay? So you don't have to use your thick, nice papers. And then I bound it with this yarn from Hobby Lobby. So you can see the seam binding look and then also some trim, okay? So I used that die and I just embellished it with a little um, bow paper piece it i put some of that trim here because i felt like it needed something hey mama how are you crafty lady and then so this i made the pockets using that library pocket die the bottom piece okay so you can see that it has that really cute edge with the hearts and i just like fold this accordion folded some paper Yes, this is, um, no, it's not tool. Well, it is tool, but it is trim that I bought from Allie. It's already um, made like this. And I just glued a piece of the yarn here. But I put that little thing there so I can, you know, put goodies in here. And I just like package up some little letters. And this is actually part of this too. Some scraps that didn't cut right, I guess. And so I'm like, I don't waste nothing, guys, okay? I'm like, you're going to become one of these little things. So I just stitched this paper and it became my back topper, topper. Okay. So that's my little book. I made two books. Let me tie this. And you just tie it like you do a regular bow. Okay. There's my first book. And then this is my second one. Okay. So this one is not completely done. I do want it. Like I said yesterday, I wanted to add... A bow here to finish it off and like maybe like some little charms nothing major something to dangle and then this is my cover so i layered multiple um trims on here that one that i got from Allie, which is really sheer and then this one is the hobby lobby one that we all have in our stash this is another trim the white polka dot one and then the star holographic one so I love the way that it looks with all the different layers. Okay. And I just covered up some of the paper. And then we got this seam binding for, to, you know, the closure or whatever. I did a shaker here. And then this is the, God, I'm just going blank. The rosette that I did yesterday. Okay, guys. So if you missed that live, make sure you check it out. I'm going to put a timestamp on there. For the tutorial on how I created these rosettes. They're double colored. They're really cute. Hey, Angel. And so there's a tutorial on that. All right, guys. I just embellished it and I used that die again. So these are all Coco Rosa dies. So again, guys, my new code. Hi, Christy. 
girl, where have you been? Thank you. So the new Coca Rosa um code, guys, is Pucci twenty five. It's a greater uh code than the twenty that I had previously. Okay. So the inside of my embellishment book, here goes that lot that library uh card with a cute little edge. So that was my idea. I was like, okay, I'm gonna use this library card and I'm gonna use it as the pages to my embellishment book. That was my idea. And you don't get much of a pocket, but again, you can do that thing that I did with this one. You just take a piece of paper and you score it a couple times to get that like accordion thing so that it can poke out more and you can fit something thicker in there, okay? So I put a rosette here for the recipient and this is the one that we made on live yesterday, okay? Hey, Sandra. So check out that video, guys. I'm gonna leave a timestamp. I'll link that video below, but it is the one previous to this one. Um, I had a lot of fun in that live yesterday. You guys made me feel so much better. And then here goes those award ribbons. I added tool to these and I love the way that the tool made it look. It just gave it like something extra. Like here's the regular ones and then bam, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be like, bam. Hey Eve, I've been here busy with work. Congratulations on the baby. I know my room is such a mess too, girl. And so here's the other page where we have those carousel ones. And I use my punch instead of that little one that came with it. But guys, I am obsessed with this little die. It is so cute. And then we made some mini rosettes yesterday. The, tri the double color one. There's two colors. And we use a little uh, heart there. Thank you so much, Anastasia. Thank you, guys. And then this is the back to put some goodies. Okay? So I think that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I did not want to make this long. I just wanted to update you guys on the code. The code is Pucci25 for Coco Rosa. I'm going to link all the items below and all that good stuff. And I will be going live. I'm not sure when. It may be like in an hour. It may be longer. I'm not sure. Hey, Robin. Um... So I will be going live. You guys keep your notifications on. I will blast it on Instagram. I have a haul to share with you guys. And I got some goodies that you guys don't want to miss. I want to show you guys all my finds. All right. So that's it, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And hopefully you'll join me for that live. When are you going to paint again, Pucci? I was actually thinking today I want to do a paint party next Wednesday. So you guys comment on this video when it uploads if you're interested in joining and I probably will for sure um, do a paint party. I stopped doing them because a lot of people just didn't join and stuff, you know. So I'll probably do one next Wednesday. I'm not sure what the theme is going to be. I'm thinking about us painting a bow. Because I really like to do pretty paintings for your craft room. So you guys can put in your display in your craft room. Okay? So that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Turn your notifications on. Check out for me. Look out for me on Instagram. I'll blast it when I'm going to go live. Okay? Bye, everyone.